In this video, I'd like to show you the new uh, layout for WooCommerce or the new dashboard for WooCommerce inside of WordPress. To get to that, I'm going to click on WooCommerce and you're going to see a whole different look and feel for the dashboard. It's a lot cleaner, it's a lot nicer on the screen and it's a lot easier to work with. So you have the normal home screen that you had before and you would pretty much have whatever uh, notifications are coming through at the top of the page. You then have access to orders and when you go into orders you can then have a look at your orders all from within the same um, interface. The functionality is pretty much the same. So nothing different about uh, what you can do. It's just really the sidebar that's changed. If we have a look at products it's pretty much the same. You'll see the same listing of all the products and that is really great. And if you go into edit a product, you'll see that the same edit screen that you had before. But having the black bar down the left hand side uh, just cleans it up, makes it a lot neater and just makes it also a lot quicker to navigate because now you can immediately find the uh, related WooCommerce links to various sections. Here we are in categories and you'll see that here in product categories, everything looks pretty much the same. The only difference is the bar down the left hand side. The same then applies for tags. The same applies for attributes. And then if we click on the add new button, you'll suddenly be open to add a new product. So, I mean, that is really great. I really like the concept and the idea behind that. If we have a look at analytics, you have all the analytics that you need and now because you don't have the clutter from WordPress, it's really easy to move from one set of information to another. So there we have some data loading up. There's nothing to, to see, unfortunately, but you'll see that it's exactly the same information that you were that you had access to before it's just done in a much cleaner nicer way and it, it's actually a lot nicer to navigate it's a lot more comfortable um so yeah i think this is a real win for woocommerce and i'm really hoping that perhaps some of the other plugins take note and have a look at doing something similar so that's pretty much all the um, services associated with WooCommerce. So we had the orders, the products, the analytics, and then we even have the marketing. So if we go to coupons, you'll see that even here you can then add your coupon as normal and you're still within this great um, uh, interface with uh, WooCommerce down the left hand side. So I'm not sure we seem to have jumped out of the marketing section there when we added a new coupon but that's fine this is still very much in a testing mode and uh, i'm sure that the um whatever stats and analytics are being fed back to woocommerce they are going to make some updates to the user experience so that is really great um the only suggestion that i really have in terms of the interface is to get rid of these um, notifications that appear at the top of the page um, for example, this notification about a database update, um, I think that could be handled with one line of text and I don't see the point of having a button that says thanks. So maybe that can just be a message that appears uh, maybe on the left hand side or somewhere or higher up that just says thank you for updating the database and maybe only runs once or twice and then isn't seen again. Uh, that way as a user, it's just a much cleaner and a friendlier experience. Haven't? If we have a look down here on the left hand side, this is where um, you can see the settings. So these are the settings that you would be as, as you know, that are standard. Um, now, if you want to activate the WooCommerce dashboard, we need to go and have a look in the settings section and we scroll all the way down to the bottom here to where it says advanced. And under advanced, we go across to features and inside features right at the bottom, you'll see this navigation button. And if we deselect and we save the changes, you'll immediately see the difference because we'll be back to the, um, the standard WooCommerce interface and already you're starting to really miss the experience. So. I think for me, it's going to be a case of heading back to settings, heading back to advanced, uh, heading over to features, 
and then activating the as the new WooCommerce navigation experience to the dashboard, saving the changes, and then getting back to this much nicer and um, cleaner dashboard. So yeah, I'd say thumbs up on this one. Um, this is one of the best um, changes or updates that have come through from a plugin and quite revolutionary in a way because it's one of the first plugins to take you out of the the WordPress environment and put you into a completely unique environment just for that particular plugin. So I really think it's a thumbs up and I also hope it's a sign of things to come for some of the other plugins. So I can't wait for this to be rolled out and this to be the standard interface for WooCommerce. It's going to be better for everybody. Well, I hope you enjoy it as much as I have. Go ahead get your um, new dashboard set up. You won't regret it. Thank you for watching.